Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, an American icon. As a little girl watching Tina Turner, she was the queen, the queen. She had the moves, she had the look, she had the energy, she had the talent. She was amazing. But there is a time, just after her brutal divorce from Ike Turner, when Tina is broke and her career seems over. That is, until a small performance at a New York City nightclub changes everything. That night, in a matter of hours, turned her entire life around. What happens? And what other music superstar might have saved Tina Turner's career? Anna Mae Bullock bursts on the scene in 1959 as a 17-year-old with the Ike Turner Review, performing live shows under the stage name Tina Turner. Ike and Tina Turner were a huge deal. It was Ike's band. Ike had built that reputation before Tina came along. She took it to the next level. Tina Turner's vocals are off the hook. Their version of Proud Mary, for instance, becomes this massive success. You can picture Tina Turner in that fringy dress shaking around because she was so good. It's one of those classic images of rock and roll. Ike and Tina marry in 1962 and blend their family of four children, but the relationship sours. Ike physically abused her, he sexually abused her, he withheld her money, he was a tyrant. She finally gets the courage to get out of it, gets a divorce, and she leaves with her name and two Jaguars. Like, that's it. Tina Turner gave up all of her fame. She gave up everything that she had created. The only thing that she was able to retain was the right to call herself Tina Turner. Turner's divorce becomes final in 1978, and she takes on the responsibility of raising four children on her own, while Ike continues to stalk and threaten her. She has no money. She was cleaning houses, playing casinos, whatever she could do to make money for her kids, she was gonna do it. She was basically seen as like a has-been act, as somebody you could go see for a couple of dollars playing at a nightclub singing songs from the 60s. But it all really changed for her in 1983. Tina Turner's fortunes change at a January 1983 show in a New York City nightclub called The Ritz. That show happened to be the same night that David Bowie's record release party was taking place for Let's Dance. And David didn't want to go to his own record release party. And David's like, yeah, no, dudes, uh, I'm going to go see my favorite singer of all time. And so they were, who's your favorite singer? And he told him Tina Turner. Something clicks in the minds of the music industry that if one of the most important rock stars is willing to skip his own release party to go see her, we need to be paying attention to her. The word spread like wildfire. They were clamoring for tickets for her show that night. Record company executives skipped out on David's party, too, so they could go to watch Tina Turner play. Bowie shines a spotlight on Turner, but is it enough? This is someone who was so down. She had everything taken away, and then something like that happens. That's incredible. 